Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for mid-May for Scorpio. This is Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. What do we got for Scorpio for the middle of May? What's coming towards Scorpio? Mm, truth, some sort of truth is being revealed, could lead to happiness, okay? Could lead to a commitment. This is something that has been hidden coming to light. It's like being revealed, okay? So if there's been some kind of secret or there's been some sort of deception, uh, the truth is going to come out, okay? It's going to be there's, it's gonna be on the surface, okay? This could lead to happiness, right? I mean, this is happiness. This is commitment. This is... Um, This could be some sort of reunion of some sort. Let's keep going. Oh. Ooh. Now, these are both dead ends. This is holding on to a dead end. This is a dead end. This is the death of an idea, taking a break. So, the truth about a commitment could be coming out. Okay. There's, there there could be an end of a, com a marriage. i got to be honest with you. All right? This is taking a break. This is exhausting. It's exhausting. It's it's killing somebody. You know what I mean? It's, um, you know, this is a change is needed, but somebody is holding on, and it's getting old. It's getting old. It's like... <laughs> It may be an opportunity to work with somebody else. Now, this is your card, and this is your card. Somebody's holding on to a false sense of security, and it's about to come crashing down. There's about to be a rude awakening here. Somebody is about to get a rude awakening, and it could be heartbreaking. I mean, I've got to be honest with you. This is painful. Okay? The universe uh, brings in some sort of necessary evil to cleanse something out that you are holding on to. And that's what this is. Somebody is holding on to a dead end. It's getting old. And this is a universe card. The is, universe is saying, oh, no, this is false. It's a false foundation. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's not going to last. It needs to crash. It needs to be cleansed out. You never saw this coming. This is like you never saw it coming. Now this is teamwork. It is. It's teamwork. It's working together. Putting in effort. Now we got threes on each side. So. Hmm. Ooh. Oh my God. So what has been hidden is coming to light. Now this is this is the devil card. This is the shadow side. There's some sort of unhealthy situation that somebody is holding on to. And that is exactly what this is. It's a false sense of security. And there's an opportunity to it looks like I mean this is looking outside of the situation. There's there's probably an opportunity for love outside of this situation. Once somebody accepts the truth. This is the truth coming out. <clears throat> this is a change. This is a change. This is action being taken. This is major change, by the way. We have quite a few majors here. So we have some major change coming. I feel as though... <laughs> Something is going to be removed, okay? Something is, is going to come crashing down. It's probably not going to feel good. I mean, i got to be honest with you. With three of swords, that's pain. It's painful. may even scare you. She looks scared, okay? It may seem a little scary. See, she looks scared. So, I mean, I'm being honest. Some people don't want to hear honesty. Some do, some don't. Well, we get some certain people that don't want to hear it. But if that's the case, you're absolutely watching the wrong channel. So, this is, I mean, this is a card of manifestation. You have the tools. You have the power within you to bring success to this situation. Whatever it is, you can bring success. You, you, you can get some sort of reward out of it. 
this is love so this is this is all happening so that you will be loved okay you know what i mean you deserve love so this is all happening because you probably deserve somebody who does put in effort who will work with you what the hell is this now this is obsessed somebody is obsessed with holding on to a dead end i can't pretend um this is let go of that idea. It's time to take a break. It's time to heal from this pain and manifest new love. You probably have new love here with somebody that will work together with you. You may have a new, a new commitment coming into your life. Some of you, a new love that leads to commitment could even lead to marriage. But this false sense of security, this false sense, this false foundation needs to crumble completely. It needs to be, you need to start with a clean slate. And the universe says you must start with a clean slate. So we are going to bring some sort of upheaval into your life to make sure that you do. So, I mean, this is big. The tower is the situation. It should, cause this should be half, it's going to be sudden. Okay, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but, I mean, it's sudden. And she looks scared, so you may, I mean, I'm sorry. This is a sudden change. So this is a sudden change. It could be a sudden change of heart. You may have a sudden change of heart that you have been obsessed, holding on to a dead end, and you're ready to just go find love again. That's how simple it could be. You find those resources within you to take it down and you go after love. There is love here. This is love. This could even be self-love. You could have been dealing with an abusive situation. You could have been dealing with somebody who was neglectful or an abusive or mean-spirited, uh, controlling. They tried to manipulate you and it's like now you're taking your power back. You may have been tested. You probably are going to be tested. You're probably going to be tested that, you know, your, your stability and your, your security is going to be tested. Um, you're probably putting something to a complete halt. Either you or the person you're dealing with. These can go vice versa. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Scorpio here quite a bit, so you could be dealing with another Scorpio. But there's an unhappy situation that has made you sad. It's hurt you. And I feel like you're you're ready to just, if you're not ready, the universe is here to help you, you know, just, just let it go. Just, just let it go. You can't hold on to it anymore. It's a dead end. And it's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to find a commitment where there's teamwork. So I feel like you guys have, it's almost like you've been in an abusive situation where there's been neglect. There may have been obsession over it. And there could have been a lot of grieving. There could have been a lot of grieving over the loss, crying over the spilled milk, not realizing that there's still an opportunity for love someplace else. And I feel like there's definitely been some secrets. There's been some secrets. There's been some... Uh, Clarity that has been received. It's like now there's no more. You can't hide the truth anymore. Now you're seeing a situation clearly. I think that you have received some sort of divine. This is divine guidance. And this is divine guidance that there's love someplace else. You know what I mean? I think that, that the guidance has been received. And you're probably realizing that, you know, there's potential to work with somebody else. Um... I think there has been fear of change. There's been dis indecisiveness and you have been restricting yourself needlessly and you may have this sudden epiphany or this sudden realization or this shock that hits you or this whatever it is that says, you know what? I deserve love. 
I can't hold on to this dead end anymore. I've been stuck long enough. It's time for me to step outside of my comfort zone, take this blindfold off, and break free from this prison that I have kept myself in. So I think that you guys are taking your power back. I think you're going to take that power in your own hands, and you're about to break free from some sort of false sense of security that you have held on to. And I feel like you... you have been unhappy for long enough and you're ready to get out there. You're ready to socialize. You want to go have some fun. I feel like there's been a lack of joy. There's been a lack of celebration. You, maybe you have been waiting for a reunion with someone and they're just not coming around. It's like now you just realize it. i got to cut this shit out. I can't do this anymore. There's no happiness here. Time for me to go. It's time for me to move on. So I feel like you guys are moving in a new direction. You're leaving the bullshit behind and you're headed towards... You know, peace and harmony and success. It's like I'm, 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 I'm gone. I'm gone. Um, and I think you're headed towards passion. You're headed towards a, a passionate new opportunity here. You may be headed towards. I mean, this is the Queen of Wands. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This may be who you're leaving or who you're headed towards. This, but this doesn't happen. Did I say Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But I said Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, so you got to take that into context. But where I was going with this is this could be anybody because we all have fire in our chart. This is passion. This is the queen. This is a passionate queen, whoever you are heading towards. Every sign has fire in their chart, okay? A lot of fire in their chart, really, we do. So I feel like you are headed towards a more passionate and more passionate new beginning here where you know there is passion where there is life where there is growth it's like you're ready and, and if this is you if you are this female that's watching this reading this is you taking on this energy I'm, I'm i'm starting a new a new endeavor i see a new i'm taking a new approach i got this new vision and i'm going for it i'm going after passion i'm going after excitement i'm ready for this new adventure I see a newfound confidence, courage, strength, willpower, a new drive, a new ambition. It's like, I've got to go. I've got to go. So I feel like that's where you're at. I feel like that is where you're at. If you are the male, Scorpio, you are headed towards this queen that is very passionate. It doesn't have to be a fire sign because we all have many houses with fire in our chart. At least three of them, right? So it could be any 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 sign. You are headed towards a very passionate new start, put it that way. Um, getting unstuck. You're not going to be trapped anymore. That's what I see. I see you guys, uh, you've been enlightened. You, you, you've come to some, you've gotten some sort of epiphany that I can't stay here. I'm gone. So I, think, I see you guys moving on. You may be moving away from this fire sign, leaving them in the dark. Um, yeah, leaving them in the dark. Is, oh, God. If you look up the Five of Pentacles, this is ghosting. It is. It's leaving them in the dark. It's like, that's what it is. So you may be like, you know, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Um, I can't carry this burden. I can't carry this weight. It's too heavy for me. I can't. I'm done. I'm dropping it. It's baggage. I'm leaving this baggage behind. So I feel like you guys are making a decision to go after happiness. You may be looking for a new partnership. You may be suddenly running into somebody that could lead to a new partnership. This could be a sudden thing like, what's the word for a serendipity kind of thing, where you just run into somebody and you, you know, start a new chapter with them. You know, you start a new journey with them. Um... You're gonna to have to step outside of your comfort zone. You gotta, you gotta to have to let down, let your guard down a little bit. You know, don't push everybody away. Don't push everybody away. You've come so far. Don't look back now. Don't. I mean, I feel like you, you may feel like you need to protect yourself. You might have to let your guard down. Let somebody in. Maybe this is somebody that you've pushed away in the past. Maybe this is a love that you've pushed away in the past, thinking that you were going to have a reunion with somebody else. And, you know, now there's an opportunity to, you know, travel that path. This right here is anxiety, fears, worry, regrets. You know, you may have pushed somebody away, like I said, that you may not have thought was good for you. And now you come to the realization, you know, that they could be your perfect match. So just keep that in mind. 
there could there you that may happen that exactly might happen i think there's an opportunity with love for love with somebody that you didn't expect i think it is i think it's somebody that you didn't expect you may have pushed them away because you thought that you were going to go back to somebody else and i think there's an opportunity to try again with whoever this is um you may have thought this person wasn't well suited for you because of the other person and but i think this person is well suited for you i think this is an opportunity to start over to start fresh and to give it a chance so I think that you probably have a new opportunity with somebody that you've already... It's like you pushed them away. I think you know who this person is. I do. I think you know who this person is and you may have pushed them away thinking that you were going to get a reconciliation or a reunion with somebody else and now you come to the realization that that's never going to happen. You know, now there's an opportunity for love with this other person that could be a perfect match. But you may not have seen them as well suited for you because of resisting you were resisting change you you were holding on to the dead end you know that kind of thing i feel like you were pushing you did i think that you pushed somebody away that probably could have led to you know a, a commitment could have led to love and i think now you may be realizing that you know i want to i want to try this i want to give this a whirl this is letting go of conflict releasing the competition you were, you were. I think that you were reluctant to give somebody a chance because of another person. But I think you, you need to, at this point, expect the unexpected because I think that there's a chance that you could fall in love with whoever this person is that was pushed away in the past. Whoever this person is, she's very, she or he is very abundant. They're ready. Um, they, they have their shit together. They're enjoying life. This person is confident. Um... Stable, solid, secure, abundant, uh, generous, and they're ready. So, and and if this is you, this could be you. This could be you ready. You're ready. You're ready. You are ready. It's like you don't want to be alone anymore. And this person that you're dealing with doesn't want to be alone either. So I feel like whatever this is, somebody's ready. I'm ready. I don't want to be alone anymore. So I feel like you should expect the unexpected. I think that you have manifested a new love. I feel like uh, you probably have pushed somebody away hoping for something with somebody else and you now you realize it's a dead end and there's an opportunity maybe to apologize and go down that road, go down that new road with whoever this other person is. Um, some of you may be deciding just to go your own way. You know what I mean? You may be deciding, you may, you know, deciding to step out of a conflict. You may be deciding that you don't want to be in the false foundation anymore. Or the universe is going to do something anyway because the tower is a universally driven card. It's where the universe says, boom, wake up. So we're, we're going to change your life right now. That's what the tower is. We're going to change your life whether you like it or not. Here we go. So I see you guys starting with a clean slate. I think that you are ready. I think that you do have new love coming in. I think it's unexpected. I think you may have pushed this person away in the past. And now you may decide to give them a chance. That's what I see. If it's not, this could go vice versa. Somebody may decide to give you a chance, but I don't think it's the one that you've been holding on to forever. Okay? I don't. Good luck.